Coming up on Talk About It, would you head overseas for medical treatment? I'm Della Rami. More and more Australians are choosing to travel overseas for medical treatment. It's cheaper, the waiting lists are shorter, and there's often a holiday tacked on as well. But we're not the only ones doing it. Around the world, the medical tourism industry is worth big money. Globally, it's estimated the medical tourism industry is worth around 60 billion US dollars. That's already double what it was worth a decade ago, and that figure is only going up. Patients Without Borders estimates there are around 11 million cross-border patients worldwide, 1.2 million of whom are American. Thailand is the most popular destination for medical tourism, followed by Singapore and India. The actual number of Australians heading abroad for treatment is hard to nail down. Dental surgery is an increasingly popular reason as to why many Australians are heading overseas. Now, while there isn't a lot of reliable data out there about the industry, it's estimated that it's growing at roughly 30% annually. A lot of people travel on a package deal offered by a medical tourism agency, such as Medi Makeovers, which partners with the DDS Dental Clinic in Bangkok. I caught up with the head dental surgeon when I was over there. So what is this room that we're in right now? This is one of my favorite rooms. It has natural sunlight. Uh, the reason why it's my favorite is because this is the room that I use to select the color of my veneers and my crowns for my patients. I see that we've got some of the veneers here. Talk us through what we're, what we're looking at here. Absolutely. This is uh, the color selection. Most people would have the desire to get the lighter, more useful mm -hmm. shades of color. Right. For instance, if you look at this one, this actually does not happen in nature. <laughs> this is man-made. This is something that we would do. This is uh, called zero M1 shade. Mm -hmm. This is whiter than any teeth in the world. Are these the most popular? Is this these are very popular. Mm -hmm. A lot of people choose to do this because this is their view of beauty. This is their view of aesthetic. Can, can you describe the type of clients that opt for this type of um, cosmetic dentistry? We do see far more female um, patients than male. Uh, mostly in their 30s, up to in the 60s, but mostly between 30s and 40s. So this is sort of the final destination for, for most of your, yes. your patients. This is, is this where you do the medical procedures? Dentistry is such a scary thing for most people. We try to be as informative as possible. We tell them the good and the bads because most of the thing that we do will also be uncomfortable. Let, let's just talk a little bit more about post-operative care because um, a lot of the criticisms around medical tourism is that you know sometimes um, when clients fly into a country like Thailand to have a medical procedure here, um, they might not get the necessary post-operative care that they require because they return to their home countries. So how do you mitigate that risk? As far as we are concerned, dentistry, the recovery and the post-operative care does not take as long as other procedures. What I always tell my patient is that it's better to do it right than to do it right now. Because if you give us proper amount of time, if you give yourself proper amount of time, we would be able to do a very good job. Anything that is less than optimum time, I have to say no. Yes, time is a factor and yes, we have declined a lot of different treatments because timing is not right. Will there be any sort of words of caution that you would... I think as far as a standard of care is concerned for both medical and dental is universal. The standard of care for here in Thailand and whether in Australia or in the US, the standard of care should be the same and is the same. So as far as your question about the standard or accreditation is concerned, each country has its own governing body to regulate uh, the standard of care, which is universal. From all the team here, thanks for your company. I'm Delarani. I'll see you next week.